Hotel Insurance Services. I want to thank all of our guests that came on and just shared how they're making their clients um, a great place to work, live, play, and have fun in their various communities, and of course, serve their clients. All right, we're going to go to our next segment of opening the company, the basics, with Colleen. So, first question I have for you, Colleen. Welcome to the show. How should um, you open a company by yourself? Generally, no. Chances are you're not going to be doing it correctly, and you may end up needing an attorney to go back in and fix it later. And the reason why uh, you should have an attorney form it is because if you have a business partner, you're really going to want to have an operating agreement put in place that dictates uh, the agreement between the partners. And it's not just about profit sharing. It's also what happens when things go wrong. It happens uh, when, when there's a death or a divorce or a bankruptcy of the company, who's going to be primarily responsible for winding up the company. It can be far more comprehensive to have an operating agreement put in place. And it's just too often that I see uh, folks go and they form it themselves. And not only is it the wrong type of entity for tax purposes, but they've also not protected themselves with an operating agreement. Wonderful. How? Um... I know you mentioned in there, what is actually an operating agreement? So an operating agreement, most people have heard of a partnership agreement. So an operating agreement is for a limited liability company, an LLC, uh, and it's dictating the rights and responsibilities of each of the partners. Is one partner in control of all of the finances or making all of the decisions? Is one partner just a, a somebody who sits in the back and, and is collecting passive income? Well, those rights and responsibilities need to match up with what those parties are agreeing to. And a lot of times people think, oh, well, I have an agreement. We have an agreement. And then they go to put it on paper and they find that they don't actually have an agreement or that what they thought the agreement was wasn't quite what the agreement was. And when you get it on paper, it's a great opportunity to uh, discover those discrepancies between business partners. That's got to be really insightful for a lot of those partners and stakeholders. Um, so why do you think that this is such a crucial element to have an operating agreement? Well, Sherman, when you don't have an operating agreement, all you're relying on is the Texas Business Organizations Code or other codes um, that are Texas statute that will very likely not provide the level of protection that you think that it will. Uh, and you may end up going straight to court to go litigate uh, with your business partner over you know, who's responsible for what or who's entitled for what. Now, for a really uh, different question, kind of uh, away from the operating agreement, if you have a partner that doesn't want to contribute financially but wants to offer working capital, what's your response to that? Well, there are ways of doing this. It's generally not tax advantageous, but it can still be done. Uh, we will want to put an agreement in place that provides a pathway for that partner to earn their way into a partnership, uh, specifically over time. And we'll want all of that laid out ahead of time. This is where a lot of disputes occur, just because there can be miscommunications or misunderstandings about their expectations. And many folks who are earning the right to have that share typically can get impatient, or they may want to take more control than they are actually permissibly able to. Wonderful. Now, Colleen, if people have questions about how they can start up their own business or make sure that they're operating properly, how can they get in touch with you and your team? Thank you, Sherman, for having me here today. For your listeners and watchers, my information is below. Um, my main number is 713-300-9662. That's 713-300-9662. Or someone can email me at cmigl at qmclaw.com or visit us at qmclaw.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Colleen, for coming on the show. Uh, thanks all our guests. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening in and viewing. This is Biz Talk with Sherman. I'm your host, Sherm's out.